<laughs> Let's go. Wow. Hey guys, and welcome back to Bad Resales. I'm Natalie. I'm Will. And we are resellers, meaning we flip items online for a profit. In today's video, we bought out a reseller's <laughs> inventory. So, in total, we picked up over 200 items and we paid a total of $570. He had a lot of good stuff. So, let's just get into showing yeah. you what went down. And we're going to show you our favorite pieces and what has sold already. So mm -hmm. let's get right into it. This is actually insane. Just going to give a little overview of... Got another banger, another vintage tag right here. Swingers. Swingster. Swingster. <laughs> Made in the USA, huge front print, can't go wrong with these. All this stuff. He said he had a lot, I just didn't think it was this a lot. Bloop. Polo. Oh, cool. We absolutely love our vintage NFL or sports teams in general. This one's from 1993, Carolina Panthers. Somewhere on it, but the vintage stuff will still sell. Wow. This is the one I'm most excited for. What the? Whoa. You know we were thrilled when we saw that tag right there. Made in the USA. We got the all-star baseball stitch front. Honestly, this is one of the coolest vintage Nike sweatshirts we have picked up and the fact it's all embroidered from 1993 and then That is Nike all stitch. There. What? That's nice. That is sick What else we got? Some hard rock. Oh, wow It's a staff one too. Staff. It's got a little Peter Millar. Millar Polo that's cool. A Budweiser with the ants? This is a new bolo for us. Budweiser vintage sweatshirts. They have over a 200% sell-through rate right now. This one already sold. It's really cool. This Bud's for you and some ants carrying the beer bottle away. Polo. That's cool. More polo Ralph Lauren. This is more like a varsity zip up track jacket with the stitched huge lettering on front. This one, like a rugby feel. <sighs> nice. Oh my God. So this one's super cool. It has like the embroidery all over on the stomach area and the chest. It also has like a really thick uh, shoulder quilted yeah. shoulder pads, I guess. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Should get a nice profit off of that one. XL tall. What we got? Cashmere. Lamb's wool. Then we have a 100% lamb's wool polo sweater. Mm. Very nice. Very clean. Very nice. Very nice. And cotton. Not one plus it, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is just one room. So this is a cool mountain hardware jacket. We haven't had a good experience in the past with these. I didn't want to pick this up, but Nat did. So we took a chance, but it is very nice. It's a soft shell with the fleece in it. In the closet. L.L. Bean. Face. This one, we love our The North Face. This one sold in one hour of <laughs> listing it. Always to pick up the soft shell jacket. Hello, Bean. Hello, Bean. Mountain. Wow. Pendle tent. Wow, wow, wow. box full of stuff right here everything is so nicely and neatly folded too wow I 
like that. Oh yes, I like that. Okay. This is actually insane. And how well you just folded everything. Then we have a heavyweight Carhartt button down shirt, button down with the buttons here. Should be a nice, easy flip for that. Yeah. No, most of it's washed too. Almost everything's washed. All right, we do not pick up LL Beans on spot. It's, we're very picky with them. Normally, we are only look up for the vintage ones made in the USA and flannels. Wow. Yeah, this looks like our little retail store. <laughs> That's insane. All right, we're about to just start digging in. Shall we bags? Yeah, we got a few bags in the car. Got the bean. And it's a collab with Russell, I think. This one, low key, is one of our best finds yeah. and we didn't even know. So LL Bean and Russell Athletic collabed on this. Very nice spell out. Should get about $60 yeah. plus shipping on this mm -hmm. bad boy. Made in USA Vintage. I like this. So. This is a brand we don't normally pick up, Eddie Bauer, but when it's down jacket, that's something you should definitely be on the lookout for. This one is also new with tags, so automatic pickup here. All right, we are just making piles of yes piles that we are going to purchase this is just one room and we got two more to go so yeah super stoked at this point so we made our way to the next room where we went through the closet that just had a bunch of polos a lot of them were golf polos and you know we love our golf brands that's right for joy Joy. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything that we are picking up all this all right tons more stuff here but there are a few more items we wanted to show a close-up of Obviously, he had some Harleys, so we picked up these and a few other ones, but these were definitely the coolest ones. We love our buttons up and huge dragons on Harley button shirts. Really can't go wrong there. I wish this one had like a cool print on the back. Yeah. But even this will sell. Mm -hmm. Then we got some vintage cigarette brand t-shirts. Single stitched. We got Camel right here. And then we got the Marlboro, Marlboro. Man right over there. And uh... <laughs> All the goodies. <laughs> wow. That's the back of my car. <laughs> this is <sighs> insane. Oh, let's, hold on, let me take this. All right, this is the back of my car. This is all closed. That box, all closed. In the back or in the trunk, all closed. Look, look, look. Get this shot. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Thank you, Pete. All right, we made it home. We got all the stuff inside on the table and then on the floor and ikea bags and then another just gigantic box with more stuff so yeah now it's time to do some logging fun fun all right guys here are all the items that we hand picked we got a ll bean here this was one of the items that we paid up a little bit extra for he had a separate pile for what he valued to be worth more than the others this was one of them i believe we paid eight dollars for this one individually this one sold in a day on poshmark beautiful ll bean kilted quilted one for <laughs> quilted sweatshirt or whatever you want to call this so we definitely got more than what we thought for this one, and I'll take it. We got an L.O. Bean vest here. 
All right, this one, I was just in love with the second I saw it. I thought it was a North Face puffer vest. Turns out it's the Bean puffer vest. This one's also Goose Down. We pick up Goose Down pretty much every time we see it. Yes. Other than that, we picked up a obviously a bunch of more items. We picked up a lot of Peter Millar, Foot Joy, more Ralph Lauren. Tons more... of bread and butter items. Yeah, more North Face, more jackets, more tops, more everything. Went beyond our expectations. And uh, yeah, Pete, if you're watching this, thank you so much. And let us know when you have the next reseller buyout. We're ready. <laughs> we'll <be there. laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We had such a blast doing the reseller buyout. Honestly, one of the best thrifting experiences we have had. Remember to be rad, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.